So are you a fan of original Wolfenstein 3D? And do you have a Steam Deck? Have you been wanting to play Wolfenstein 3D with modern controls on your Steam Deck? Well, maybe you've heard of EC Wolf and you've found out that you can play Wolfenstein 3D with modern controls, but you can't figure out how to put all of that together onto your Steam Deck. I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. Let's get started. So you may be aware that Wolfenstein 3D is available on Steam and GOG, but generally by default, it will launch with DOSBox and you're forced to use old fashioned controls. And EC Wolf is a source port that you can use to play Wolfenstein 3D with modern controls. And it's generally very easy to set up and use on Windows. I imagine that's the case with Mac as well, but getting it to work on Linux or Steam OS is actually pretty difficult to figure out if you don't know what you're doing. Well, thanks to Reddit and a little bit of tinkering, I was able to get it working and I really haven't been able to find any video tutorials to show everyone how to do it. So I figured I'd go ahead and do it in video form myself. So let's uh, jump on over to my Windows desktop and and I'll, I'll show you sort of the uh, initial steps and then we'll jump over to Steam OS in desktop mode and we'll uh, put it all together and I'll show you how to get it working. Alrighty, so personally, I purchased Wolfenstein 3D on good old games. Um, it's also available on Steam, like I said. But the first thing we're going to want to do is get the proper files. Uh, assuming you're doing this legally, I recommend you do. It's definitely not a big financial investment. You're probably going to only end up spending a couple dollars to uh, get the game. And so the process for getting to the folder uh, where you're going to find your files is not too different between GOG and Steam. But with GOG, you're going to want to go over here and hit Manage Installation and go to Show Folder. And here we have it. Now, uh, initially, I assumed when I was trying to set it up that you would just go ahead and move the Wolf 3D EXE over to SteamOS. But in actuality, what you want to find are what are called the WL6 files. And in this folder here, uh, you see the directory, you see the path to it, at least in my case, is GOG. GOG Galaxy Games, Wolfenstein 3D. Under this folder here where you have all the data, you're going to find nine WL6 files. At least I believe it's nine. If you work your way down the list, you're gonna to wanna to find all of them and you're gonna to wanna to transfer them in whatever way that you choose. You could transfer it over uh, in a, a little SSD card. But in my case, I like to upload the files to Dropbox and then download from Dropbox on the Steam Deck. And so you're gonna to wanna to take all those files and copy them over. So I'll show you what that looks like once I'm over on the Steam Deck. So as you can see, I'm now in docked mode on the Steam Deck and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hold that power button and go to desktop mode. All right, so here we are in desktop mode. Here I have all nine of those WL6 files and so you're gonna to wanna to download those. Or again, you might be bringing them over uh, on like a, a micro SD card or something like that. All right, and then up next, you're gonna actually want to download the Flatpak file of EC Wolf. Now, this is a little hard to track down, and so I'm going to put the uh, Google Drive link to this in the description for you. I actually found it on Reddit. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that post as well because I wanna give credit where credit is due. All right, and so here's this post by someone named Dudeman59. And he provided the link here of the uh, flat pack that he said that he, I guess, compiled himself. And so I'm grateful for that. And now that I have it downloaded, if this ever goes down, I'm going to put it on Google Drive myself. But for now, uh, I've left his link in the description. And he basically laid out his process here. And it's what I'm basing a lot of this video on. I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible. All right. So you're going to want to go ahead and download that flat pack file. And you'll be able to find in the downloads folder, there is the flat pack file. So you're gonna double click that. And I already have it installed, but up here where it says launch for me, it should say install for you. So go ahead and do that. And it should be very simple. All right, and now this is where it gets slightly complicated with uh, navigating Linux a little bit. I'm pretty new to the game, and so I'm basically giving it to you step by step as I figured it out. But you're going to want to head to Home. Now, I'm already showing hidden files here. You might not know how to do that, but if you hit Control H, you see they go away. Uh, but yeah, hit Control H, and then your hidden files will show up. And you're going to want to go to dot var right here. And then you're going to want to go to app and this will show up again. After you've installed the EC wolf flat pack, you'll see one of your files is going to be org dot flat pack dot 
EC Wolf. So open that up and then you're going to want to go to data and then go into EC Wolf. And you can see here, I have already put those WL6 files into that folder. And so that's where you want to add them. And that's the way that you're going to combine your legal owned files of Wolfenstein 3D, and you're going to combine them with EC Wolf. That's how that's going to work. And so that's a major step out of the way. And so from there, actually, you could go ahead and launch the game in desktop mode. Right. So technically, if you go back to the downloads folder and double click uh, flat pack now, and you hit that launch button, there it is. You're going ahead and you're launching Wolf 3D in desktop mode. Now, if you want it to remain that simple and you're willing to go to desktop mode and launch the game that way, that is an option. However, a lot of you probably want to know how to get the game working in game mode. So we'll go ahead and quit and I'll show you how to do that. Now, generally, if you want to add a non steam game from desktop mode, you can usually find like the application uh, in the application menu and right click on it and say add to steam. But you want to do it a little bit backwards from that with this process. So open up steam in desktop mode and go to your library and you can go on down to the bottom left here and say add a game and say add a non steam game, right? And you're going to want to go to browse You're going to want to go back to the beginning here and we're going to want to go down to user. You're going to want to open up bin. I think we're going to want to uh, show all files and then we're going to scroll down to flat pack, which is right here. And then we can say open and then say add selected programs. And so that's going to show up in your library. In this case, it showed up as RetroArch for some reason. I'm not sure why, but we're going to go to uh, Properties. And we can see here that uh, under RetroArch, it has the target as User, Bin, Flat Pack. But we're going to want to go to Launch Options, and we're going to change this around. And we're going to change it to Run Wolf. Just realized I spelled that wrong. It's actually supposed to be K, not CK. So run org.flatpack.ecwolf. There you go. And so let's go ahead and hit play, test it out. There you have it. All right. And so now the file is ready. And so we can go back into gaming mode. And there we have it. We've already run it once. And so it shows up there. And you can customize your artwork by right clicking on it, saying manage. And if you're doing it in desktop mode, again, if you want to go back to that, you can say add your own artwork. Uh, but we're not going to do that right now. I can show you the artwork that I already added. I now have two instances of the game in my Steam library because of the tutorial. So let me go to my library and go to uh, non Steam games. And if you scroll down, you can see the artwork that I've added here. If we click on that and you can do that yourself. That's not too difficult to do. I won't outline the whole thing now, but basically you can either create your own artwork or download it from different websites. And, uh, in each case where you might need new artwork, uh, with different instances that it shows up in the library, you just right click on it, say you can add a new icon, you can add a new logo, you can add a background like this. But, uh, if we hit play here, we see that it launches. And the nice thing about EC Wolf, if you're not familiar with it, is that you have new options. You can uh, have a more sophisticated control setup, uh, and you can also have an auto map with uh, EC Wolf. I generally don't use that. I like to, at least in that case, use the game like it used to work. Um, but you can uh, have an auto map, which did not exist in the original game, and you can change the way that it looks. So there you go. There you go. I hope that you found this video helpful. Again, uh, make sure you go give an upvote to a uh, guy over there on Reddit who put this together in a way that I was able to base the video on. Hopefully this brought the tutorial to the next level in a way that was usable for someone who's new to SteamOS, new to Linux, like I am, to be honest with you. I needed real step-by-step -step instructions in order to get this to work, and hopefully this made it even easier for you. So there you go. Make sure you leave a like if you found it helpful. My name's Eric, this is Crossplay Gaming, and we'll see you around in the next one. Thanks for watching.